Hey everybody, uh, so a friend of mine asked me to do a video on what I typically bring to a photo shoot. So I guess I would have to begin with what kind of photo shoot I'm doing before I decide to pack the gear. If it's a few hours, then the smaller bag comes with me. If it's going to be for the whole entire day, I bring the giant turtle backpack. So I guess I begin with the fundamentals, and that is these go these items go with me wherever I go, regardless of whether or not it's a small shoot or a big shoot. And that is my trusty first aid kit, which is alcohol pads, band-aids, Tylenol, and I guess you're wondering why clothespins are there. When I used to do weddings, uh, bridesmaids or even brides would always have to tie something up or put something in, and no one would ever have clothespins. So these come in handy in those situations. And even though I don't do weddings anymore, I guess it's just a habit to bring them, just in case. Uh, another item I always bring is just a snack. Um, you usually get hungry and there isn't really time to eat. Um, usually things are going on and the only time you actually have to eat is, you know, maybe a few seconds to just swallow. Um, so these are really handy. They stay dry. Uh, I use energy bars as well. And another staple item that I always bring is a flashlight just in case it gets dark but flashlights are handy and a multi-tool which is uh, you know knives to cut things or this usually comes in handy just during setup sometimes if there's rope to cut but those are almost always go with me regardless of the shoot Those almost always go with me regardless of the shoot. And then I usually carry them in a smaller camera bag. I guess it's a MERS, if you will. And call it what you like. I love this thing. I take it with me wherever I go. So, all those get organized in this little bag, which stays in the trunk. Or sometimes I put lenses in here to change on the fly. And then another staple item is of course memory cards, which these bad boys. I like to use uh, the extreme line. They're a little faster and I mean reliability. I haven't had any of these fail on me yet, knock on wood, but a standard that I follow is whenever I'm done with a memory card as I'm shooting. Well, first of all, I always go through each and every one of these and make sure they're cleaned out at, so they're fresh. I've actually went to one shoot where I didn't do that and I put the card in and I had four shots left. And things are moving fast and I was kicking myself because I'd have to sit there and delete um, items off the card to free up space, which can be very, very annoying. So anyways, once I'm done shooting, I know that they're completely full or mostly full. I flip them backwards like so. So then that way I'm never confused as to what is open and what isn't. And if you notice in the back there's uh, information. Basically if you find this on the ground somewhere please call me a substantial reward may ensue. And uh, I almost actually lost the card at an event once which wasn't fun to say the least just and I ended up finding it on the ground out of all places and uh, I just decided I'm never gonna make that mistake again so if anyone finds these cards somehow then you know hopefully they do the right thing and return them so uh, it, again it depends on the shoot if if it's a big long shoot you know I bring two cases and I also bring an external hard drive to offload these as a backup just in case. If I know I'm doing portraits, kids, or yeah, well, mostly that's what I do nowadays, I only bring two lenses with me. And that is my 35 millimeter 1.4 and that will be my 85 millimeter or yeah, here it is, 85 millimeter 1.2. Uh, these two primes 
generally foot the bill and I would typically bring two bodies uh, and the reason for that is I really don't like changing lenses it kind of takes away from the flow so just two bodies especially primes uh, make it much easier to facilitate and the two cameras that I generally go with are my 1DS Mark II and my 1D Mark III. They're a little older now compared to today's standards but again they haven't failed. I've shot them through the rain and they're, they're strong workhorses so they really, I mean I love them. I guess if I were to upgrade I may get another one, maybe the 1DX, but at this rate, I don't, th I don't think my wife's going to let me spend a six grand on another camera, so that's about it. So yeah, these two, and one more thing is I always bring an ND filter, because um, I really don't know if I'm shooting in the daylight, or really, really bright daylight, and if it's that bright and I want a low aperture, I typically bring an ND filter. I mean, they're glorified sunglasses and uh, they, they help out a lot if you want to get the lower apertures. And over there are batteries and I guess the number of batteries that I bring depends on the length of time that I think I'm going to shoot. Okay, so I have those items packed. The other item I think comes in handy are these pack pads which are lens wipes and they're lint free and they're actually really handy, especially when you're shooting in dusty or wet environments. Uh, they clean up your lens. One other decision point I make is, I guess, if the shoot I know is going to be indoors, then for sure I will bring flash. Uh, I try to generally just bring one. Uh, if worst comes to worst, I'll bring two. And then, you know, if it's, I know it's a big, big, big church or something, then I'll use three of them. But that's really rare. These are uh, 580 EXs um, to get the faster recycle rate. I typically have these batteries, battery packs, external battery packs, and they prolong the flashes. And with a boatload of envelope batteries, which I love, I've tried the Energizer ones, which are great for about the first two charges, and then they just suck. And these guys here. They're, low, they're lower in the energy ratings, but you know they last, they, they're durable, they charge, and they hold their charge for quite a while, so I love, I pretty much switched out all my batteries to these guys. Depending on the type of shoot, if it's going to be a important shoot where they paid me a lot of money, I bring a third body just in case. You know, equipment fails, so you never know, so I have another. Uh, 1D handy just in case the other two fail. If it's a wedding or, or a large event, then I bring the uh, 2470. This is fantastic for portraits or candid shots. People really don't like giant cameras in front of you, so if you can stand across the room and shoot them, then you know they'll never know. And I guess most comments I get from clients were, wow, I really didn't even know you took that shot. And I guess that's kind of really important when it comes to candid photography. You want to make sure they don't know because if the moment they're aware of the cameras in front in front of them, uh, things change. They either act differently or you know it's not uh, spontaneous. If I'm shooting uh, rings or really close details, I bring my macro lens, and uh, I use that. You know, maybe five shots out of the night, but. You know, those five shots are pretty important. 2470, I almost never bring unless I'm really unsure of myself. And the reason is I use that as a crutch. It's a zoom lens. And I actually used to always bring it as a crutch. But then, you know, once I've got more comfortable with my shooting, I think I've gotten a little better. I leave this guy at home. And uh, he's just there as my personal blanket. That lens, I'm not going to talk about that lens. He's, I bought <laughs> the uh, 1740 on, I guess it would be an impulse buy, and I've used them a few times, and it pretty much sucks. Um, I guess if you're shooting in the daylight, 
it would make sense, but for anything else, it's a paperweight. I w probably wouldn't recommend anyone buying this. I think it was like 600 bucks or something. This bad boy here, you know, stuffed animals. I have a lot of stuffed animals I bring to shoot, especially with kids. Um, they come in handy, you mount them on the camera, and first then they start taking a look at your camera. Uh, it's a neat little trick. Um, I usually use painter's tape to strap them on, but stuffed animals I think are very important, uh, especially to keep kids entertained and to keep them focused on looking at your camera. Candy also works. I think candy is an excellent bribe uh, if you want to get kids to basically cooperate with what you're doing. So that's pretty much it.